Hey there, truckers. Welcome to Redneck and I, all things trucking and then some. Hope you enjoy the show. My name is Tiffany, and I am with Redneck and I's. And we started this radio station, or I kind of wanted to do something more for <clears throat> the women of trucks, drivers, just to be able to have a chance to vent and not have to ha worry about, you know, getting second guessed on things. Sometimes when you're a woman driver and you ask questions of other people, I don't want to say questions of other people. When you ask questions or you ask a guy in your, in the same field, okay? Now, a lot of the guys, they're really nice about it and they'll answer any question that you may have and be real nice about it and say, yeah, honey, we can help you do that. And then there's other ones that say, well, you shouldn't be out here in the first place because if you don't know how to do that, then you don't need to be out here doing it. Well, we of all women have all heard that in some aspect of our lives, whether it be, you know, working at a, at a restaurant or working at a gas station or parts store. I have, you know... I've been around trucking all my life and that's been the only thing I've ever really known. My dad's a driver, you know, my husband's a driver, Greg, you know, the mouthy one or the old school driver that everybody likes to listen to on the Sunday night talks. So with that being said, I've always been around it. So I have heard all kinds of stuff. I'd go to get parts and they'd look at me like I was crazy. It's like, this is what I want. I know what I want. So don't try to second guess me when I say it. So with that being said, I want to make sure that you guys know we're not here to, to judge you in any way. Us women need to stick together and kind of, you know, help each other out. That's what we here at Redneck and I's like to do. We want to be the ones that can say, hey, you know, we, we have a question and we want to be able to help you. We started out helping drivers and that's what we want to keep doing. Okay. But anyways, all right. I'm Tiffany. I started driving back in 95. I went to school only because my dad said he didn't want me to learn any of his bad habits. Needless to say, uh, the company I went with right after that was Kaplan out of Cleveland. And my dad has been with them for almost 30 years. <laughs> so going with them, I had to ride with him for a while. So with that being said, I learned his bad habits. So, um, after that, I did that for many years and then I went to a couple of different companies here and there. Now I met Greg back in 2004 when I was driving for a local company here and they, I mean, they do over the road, but it's a, it's in Salem. It's a little company and, uh, RK camp. How it just name just kind of blinked off and I didn't even know what the name was, but I started with them, worked with them for a few years and worked with a couple different other ones and kind of like, that's how Greg and I got together was back then. And then working with the different companies and we recently just got married after 17, 18 years. So, but that was, that was an interesting time too. Now, so, like I said, I have been in trucking all my life. My dad's a driver, my uncle, a couple of my uncles were. My dad also works on trucks. He did a lot more of working on trucks and that's how I started. I would go with my dad when I was a kid and just um, help him change brakes. That was my job, to do the brakes. Until I got to the snap rings and I wasn't allowed to do them because he was afraid I'd get hurt putting them on. But I did, I did the brakes. I was okay with that. I didn't have a problem with it. And um, so I learned a lot of things by working with my dad, whether it be, you know, changing oil, greasing trucks, you know, adjusting clutches, changing brakes, mounting tires. Right now we're in the process of, you know, he's actually rebuilding his motor because it was put in, put in compression in the radiator and it was pumping oil out of the back three cylinders. So the head seems to be good. Uh, he had to have new injector wells put in and the valves adjusted and it had to be trued up a little bit. But other than that, it seems to be good. So he's got new cylinders and rods and all that stuff for it. So 
you'll be seeing videos coming of that because we have been doing videos of what we've been doing and not really what we've been doing. Greg and my dad and my nephew has been doing. I haven't been doing a whole lot besides helping lift the head off of it. So, but I want to hear you guys' stories. Even if you're not calling in, which like I said, that's fine. I've been flipping back and forth so I can check and see if anybody does call in. This is, like I said, again, this is all kind of new doing this for me here and doing it both on the radio and Facebook Live because I wanted to try doing both to see how it worked on my end compared to how it does with Ed. So, you know, that's the reason we said, you know, give us a call. Just chat. We don't care what you want to talk about. You know, I'm not having any certain thing or talking, you know, about one thing or the other. I just want us all to just chit chat just get to know each other better so now I'm gonna take a little bit of time here and I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about some of our sponsors now we have had um, DPF regeneration at webakem.com be sponsors of ours since 2015 and Miss Hattie she's an awesome lady she can take your um, DPF filters and your particulate filters all that stuff and get them fixed up back into great shape and right back to you, you know, in a very quick turnaround. So give her a call at 800-634-3010, and that is DPF Regeneration. So, now, let's see. I don't have a whole lot to talk about, because I can sit here and talk to my, you know, self for hours, but that's not much fun, is it? And I know, you know... I don't have all the fancy music to play and all that other stuff because I'm not real sure how to do that. So, like I said, I am not the best one when it comes to, you know, technology. I try, but I can't say that I'm the best. So, I don't even have, this is how bad it is. I don't even have music downloaded on my computer. It's because I don't want to listen to it there. I have a radio for a reason. So um, give us a call. Tell us what you want to talk about. You guys, you know, anybody can call. I know it says women of redneck and eyes, and I know that's what we were talking about that we were going to deal with and talk with and stuff like that. But, hey, we're here to talk to anybody about anything at any time. So, you know, feel free to call. If you have something to talk about, call. You know, we just want to get everybody on and start interacting with everybody a little bit more once in a while. I know we do, you know, the Sunday night calls and they're at 7 Eastern. So, um, that's usually, like I said, that's usually the guys that call in and Ed takes care of that one. He's a lot better at this than me. I'll give him prompts to that because I am not very good. I'm still learning. So I'm hoping you guys can hear on both ends on, you know, Facebook and on the radio. But, like I said, as of right now, I don't have anybody calling me, but it's all good. I'm not complaining because I know it's, you know, can be a little bit touchy and stuff like that when it comes to this. Because, again, I'm not the best at it, so I am still trying to figure out a lot of things on it. So, but I'm trying to work this and figure it out. So, like I said, just bear with me and hopefully I can get this all figured out. So... But yeah, give us a call again, 515-602-9731. I'm just waiting for you guys to call. So, let's see. What is there we can talk about? Okay, let me tell you a little bit about myself. All right, only because I don't have, I, I don't have a script to go by. I am literally winging everything I have to talk about only for the fact why do I need to actually you know have a script I'm not gonna read the daily news to you guys and tell you what's going on in the world you guys are out there you know what's going on with fuel prices and you know hazards on the road and everything else you guys know this I don't need to dwell on it and tell you this you know we do have many outlets that you guys can look up different things there's CDL Life, there's Overdrive Magazine that has articles, Landline, all of them. So you guys know you guys can get stuff like that. I live in a zoo. But like I said earlier, this is new for all of us doing a 
women of redneck and eyes is what, you know, what we're calling it because it's not, it's not just about women drivers. It's about, you know, it's a lot of different things when it comes to trucking. You know, you could be a dispatcher that has to deal with the men, you know, because some of them can be a little bit outspoken, a little more pushy. So let me know what you think. You know, if you don't want to call in, that's fine. Send us a message on Facebook. You know, right now, like I said, I don't do YouTube. So unfortunately, we won't have anything on YouTube. But I will have it set up for Facebook every Wednesday. And we're going to be doing every Wednesday at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And it's going to be about a lot of us women drivers or wives of drivers or mothers or sisters or daughters. Give us a call. Okay, we got a caller. And I believe, don't quote me, but I believe this might be Miss Holly. <laughs> How are you, Holly? You got it. <laughs> Good. That's good. I'm out here trying to push all these crazy people off the road. Hey now. Ugh. I bet. Mm. Where you at? It's been a week. <laughs> Tennessee. Trying to find somewhere to park. Oh. That's always fun this time of night. It's never fun this time of night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not a big truck stop person, but the rest areas out here are very limited. So yeah, and my time is ticking away. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, I've mostly so been kind of talking I, to myself all night, but it's all good. I I was listening. <laughs> I was listening for a while, but I didn't have a really good connection. Oh, gotcha. So, until I got up over the mountains. Right. I was like, well, I'll just have to wait because I, so I, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> so now that you've crashed your trucks, <laughs> how uh, are people, how are, how are, you know, I see a lot of crazy, crazy posts about, how some of some of the women out here are decorating their trucks? Ugh, yeah. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Some of them are just over the top. But I guess I don't truck like that anymore. I'm not out here for months at a time. But and no, I, I don't know. And that's that's a lot of it. I, mm -mm. you know, when I was driving, I, you know, it was what I needed because I was home every week. At the time, so which made it nice because leave out on Sunday, back by Friday. So, right, and sometimes in between I during mean, the week was back wrong. forth. I have my comforts, but I mean, like I said, some of these are over the top. They're using that sticky paper, like the drawer liner stuff, and putting it all over. And I'm thinking, man, how are you ever? If you have to get out of that truck, hey, how long is it going to take you? Yeah, because they're when they get done with, especially in a company driver, you're gonna have to make it back the way it was. Yeah, that's a little bit right. no. I think my dad would probably have shot me if I did something like that to one of the trucks I drove of his. Yeah. 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 I mean, I have my carpets and my TV and all yeah. that, but you know, they're nothing to pull up. They just protect the floor. Right. You know, and plus, in, in the process of protecting the floor, they're also protecting your your feet from, you know, easy cleanup. Right. Which is nice. Exactly. I mean, Greg yeah, and... I, I pull that carpet and wash it and bring it back. Yeah. Greg has rugs in his and, you know, if he spills something, he pulls it up and brings it home and, yeah, I wash it. So it does make it a lot nicer. Yep. But, yeah, you get some that do some crazy stuff in the trucks. I've seen, you Full know, kitchens like sinks and yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah. And how I think I, even unless you have a big bunk truck, how in the heck are you going to put that much stuff in a truck? I, I drive a truck with no top bunk. 
I have two airplane cabinets on both sides <laughs> above my bed, and that's it. Right. Like, I went from massive storage in a Cascadia to from sleeping up top and having the table on the bottom and all that to what I have now. And right. And I carry a lot of stuff, but, you know, my stuff, but I the walls close in after. And I'm only out a week at a time. Right. I don't do a 34 on the road. Uh-uh. But, I mean, some of it, I think, is anxiety, but... You know, need my stuff, and slowly <laughs> though, I've got I I take stuff home more and more every week. Like I didn't touch that, so I can take it out. Mm -hmm. I didn't touch that, so I can take it out. And you know, the minute I take it out, I'm going to need it. Yep. But so far, it's been good. Slowly getting it under control. Yeah, that's I'm like... still trying to clean my truck out from the show. What are you fooling? <laughs> Oh, I know, right? Well, That's you know. crazy. I'm st well, I mm -mm. I'm still working on stuff here from the show too, so yeah. Seems like I I get it. Well, I, don't I get have on a lot of time when I'm home, yeah. Right. In a bag, sitting in the room. I'll get to it eventually. Yeah. That's kind of like got what I needed. And... That's kind of like around Let's here. Just sit there. <laughs> Right? Oh, yeah. It'll be there when you get to it. So where are all of our women? Where's all of our women? I don't know. You're the first one. Which is okay. Because, I, like I said, I knew come this... Around. Yeah. I knew this was going to be, you know, hard getting up and running at first. And plus, I've been, you know, we've been out working in the yard and everything else because the weather's been perfect for it. We were out splitting wood the other day, you know with my dad's log splitter and it was raining and snowing kind of a mixed bag of tricks that day. So we finally got all, we got that all done, but then it was, um, we ended up, Oh, yesterday cleaned up what was the remaining of the stuff that was laying around out there, the bark and all that type of stuff and got it put away, you know? So, Oh, Jessica just sent a message that she's on here. Cue her in. I don't know which one she is. Jessica, push one. That's all you got to do. Push one. <laughs> <laughs> she just said, it. she's like, I'm on here. I'm late. <laughs> That's all right. You know, because I was thinking, well, what are the oh. last four numbers of your phone number. There she is. She must have pushed one. She's put her hand up. <laughs> is that you, Jessica? Oh, you have, do you have video? No, I can, I can actually, you have video going. no, what it is, is on the dashboard for okay. it, if you push one, a little hand oh. comes up behind, beside your name, oh. or your number, okay. so. Okay, because I was looking for video, and you don't have it. No, but I might be able to, that's what Ed and I were talking about, about doing for, um, the Zoom in order to broadcast a Zoom thing on Facebook and all that too, which we can. And I might, we might be able to do that, but it would require, you know, you I guys. I wonder if you could go, I wonder if you could go through Messenger, video chat on Messenger. Um, you know what? I'm going to have to look into that. We probably could Facebook. do that too. Yeah. You could probably do Messenger before, because Messenger is a part of Facebook. Zoom is. Mm -hmm. Not so they would probably you'd probably do better through Messenger. Yeah, because Zoom yeah, will actually type in something, but I don't know what to type in. Zoom will actually put you into let you um, broadcast on Facebook also. Oh, will they? Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of one of those things. Just gotta so we can all see each other. Yeah. But so yeah, I've just been kind of you know pulling up. Pulling up things to talk about and read about online, just ones that caught my attention, and so. Oh, Kelly, Kelly. shit! Didn't realize that was tonight. Uh, She's not gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, Kelly, Fire Kelly, Kelly. Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> She's always running. Yeah. Where's Jessica? Jessica, are you on here? Well, I think that's her. I don't know. 
Well, it popped up, and somebody put their hand up, and I cued him in, but... Maybe she's muted. Yeah, great. I hear something. Yes, oh, I was muted. Greg. <laughs> she was muted, oh, she there said. there she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was, I've was. i been sitting here saying things like, you guys don't want to see me. No, I don't want that. Um, I just, I actually had just gotten done doing work in, so I, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot what time <laughs> it was, and so then just. And just sat there and, and tuned in so that I could listen to y'all. <laughs> well, we're glad Much you did. Appreciated. Yes. Because I know for the last, since we can't, because when Ed set up the radio station, he did set it up under Central Time. So here I'm thinking 7 p.m. Eastern, and that's what I set the show up for. Well, no, that would actually have been 8 Eastern. Well, so... <laughs> It's going to say when I do it next time, it'll still be, you know, it's going to be for at seven, but it's going to say on the, you know, when I put it on the, the link on the Facebook page and that it's going to say six, but so, but yeah, so we've just been chatting and so are you, are y'all on the she trucks, um, not she trucks, she drives trucks, um, email list at all? No. Never even heard of it. Uh, okay, well then I'll. She trucks or she email. drives. No, she she drives trucks. Um, so I I mean it's like a, I don't know, it was like a mail thing that I get every once in a while, and I know that I shared it this today with Chris because it had some stuff on there, and so I can always pull it up, perhaps. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Um, so some of the things that's on there is that um, Walmart announced a huge hike in co- in in pay. Um, let's see, bipartisan cut dollar tax credit. Um, the U.S. Rep. Representative Abigail um, Spang- Spamberger and Mike Gallagher recently introduced a, mi- a bipartisan bill that would create a refundable income tax credit for qualified commercial truck drivers. Nice. Nice. So um, that, w- that would be, some- I mean, that's something really good. No, it's, um, I guess it links, I'm trying to see, I will forward it to you, Tiffany, okay. uh, but it's, it's like, it's a, it's a newsletter that more has to do with, with like women's issues in trucking. I mean, and then they'll kind of link out other things. Um, sometimes that they'll add, they'll have, um, they'll have, you know, specific, women specific issues instead of anything else. So, I'll, but I'll definitely send it to you, and you can get on their mailing list. Oh, I guess, definitely. Well, since we, since we've been off the road, I did not know that like Loves took over a lot of speed co locations, and apparently they're adding seven more. Mm-hmm. That was something that's in here, and then something that we we learned on the at the Tennessee game. <laughs> is that um, actually they, that Pilot sold off the convenience stores in the in the Tennessee and Kentucky area to Casey's? Wow. Well, Warren Buffett and his or not Warren, yeah, Warren Buffett and his group bought out <laughs> some of the Pilots, and they've become One Nines. They've renamed hmm. them to One Nine. Hmm. In the Tennessee, Georgia, and I think maybe far eastern Texas, there might be one or two of, but huh. that 75 corridor, there's three or four of them along there, and they, they're, that's the Warren Buffett group that bought so, so many, a percentage of them. So hmm. Fly and J and Pilot, I believe, are no longer jointed together. I could be wrong. Greg Holland. Like when they all strange. when all the four big when they all merged together, Pilot 
and Flying J went together and Petro and TA went together. I think that mm-hmm. Pilot and Flying J have split, and that's where Pilot sold off some of those to the Warren Buffett group. And they've changed the name to One Nine. Because everybody kept hmm. calling me and be like, what is this One Nine? What's this new truck stop? I'm not, that's what it is. So there's some moving and shaking going on. Yeah, Greg just said no. something about, I don't even know what he said. He was talking about a... Oh, some of them in Missouri and Illinois, those one nines also. Are they up there too? Yeah, yeah that's I what he was just... There yeah. That much. yeah, he said... That's not my lane there, buddy. <laughs> right. He's sitting upstairs in the in the kitchen, and I'm down in the office and hollering stuff from upstairs. I hear him. I hear him rattling back there. I know. Tell him right? to put his skirt on and get on the phone. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like I said, it doesn't have to be just women on here. It could be anybody that calls in. John earlier called in. John Crawford, he called in earlier because, you know. There was nobody calling in for me, and I was kind of getting a little discouraged. And I was like, you know what? I was having technical difficulties. Yeah, I was. At, I was at one of those points where I was thinking, okay, well, you know what? If because it was like literally talking to myself, and I was like, that's all right. I'll keep going. I was doing good. I was talking. I was, you know, kind of beating my gums, as was... Greg would say. And John called in to talk with me. <laughs> And speaking of beating gums, he just walked downstairs. Oh, he went all the way to the basement. See, he still doesn't want to have anything to do with us. 